morning everybody Saturday July something other here we are still having some uh, very dry weather I'm heading out to water pigs before I go to the happiest place on earth got some other chores to do today one of my big tasks for this weekend is to get these boars moved down the hill that's cleaned up, grown back in enough that they can get down there and start doing some foraging. I think I'm going to make a smaller paddock up here. And I'm going to se separate Romeo and maybe a couple other pigs out from, uh, from the rest of the boars. For some reason they've been fighting a lot the last handful of days. And Romeo's gotten tore up pretty good. Even though he's been the dominant male. Anyway, they continuously dump all their water. They're all piled up right down there. Bunch of weirdos. Anyway, let's see what we can get into. Everybody came out and got a drink that wanted one. Sailor girl here. Fig. There's a lemon out there. If she's going to Pharaoh, she's probably not going to have a big litter, which is okay. That is okay. I haven't seen the cows this morning. I'm sure they're out laying in the shade. That's where I'd be. Who are you being, camera shy? What are you doing, you little stinker? Did you tell everybody you got a bath the other day? Say, not my first one. But he is shedding. Now he's going to eat it. <coughs> Say what? <coughs> Alright, so let's see what we got here. So, bought a few new fiberglass posts say poles these are far from post uh, I have more of these clips here in the bag and I have some some larger wire here I'm hoping I can do just one strand to keep the bores in they're pretty good this stuff gets pretty hot passes on the angry pixies to the pigs when they get up on it and it's easy for them to see so I think it'll work out just fine just got to get it set at the right height of course they're all mature boar so it's not like i gotta worry about little pigs walking up underneath the wire so i think what we're going to do is come down this hill a little bit skirt around the the septic here and maybe come down to right out in here and run down i'm going to leave some of this open so we can still mow down through here i got that pile of sticks right there i don't think that'll hurt anything i got those trees i need to move there man should i should I go around that? I definitely want them cleaning up all this in here. Looks like I got a big limb down there. So, and I don't think I want to let the pigs share a fence line with the sows. I just think I'm asking for for trouble there. So maybe I'll I'll come down, come out this way, over, and then back up between this walnut and these other trees here. And just kind of go around i can still mow this this area back over here and that'll keep them away from the the sows there and maybe they'll clean all this up oh boy it's got to be 100 degrees right now easy all right let me uh get my stuff here and start putting some stakes in the ground i think this will go pretty quick i'm not planning on moving the boards this evening because i've already fed them and I just kind of want to get some Pied Piper action going on when I get the feed out. Uh, they'll follow me right down here and I can separate the pigs I need to separate. Take the stake, put the stake down, and use my special stake driving tool and uh, whoop them into the ground. Now the ground's probably going to be harder than petrified woodpecker lips because we have not had rain in a while. But these go in the ground pretty easy, and they don't have to go in far. Just enough to keep them from uh, 
you know, falling over when the wire gets under a little bit of tension. Not getting too crazy today. So it's going to come off that corner fence post way up there. Just right down this side, like I said, right through here. I quit right here so I can bring my tractor through in the morning, get that house moved. And then it, it just shoots up over a bit and then up and it joins the fence where the boars are at now. All right, folks, it's hot. It is hot, 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 hot. So I got the tractor obviously in my pallet forks. Try to get this house up here moved. It's uh, later on in the evening. I should say evening, afternoon here, Sunday. And we're gonna try to get these boars moved. Burn my hands there. All right, we're cooking with gas now. So I got that house dropped up there. It wasn't pretty, but it was effective. So what I'm about to do now is finish running this wire. We got the boys over here eating, which was pretty easy except for the one, Gilbert, who we couldn't lead to the promised land when it was breeding time. So girls are up here ready to help out moving these houses will be pretty easy we just got to get that one tumped over okay so i'm taking you on the chronicles of checking the earth's butt temperature i'm kidding that's actually quite disgusting sorry gotta trek through a forest but basically i gotta use this thingy that probably a lot of you have seen before I didn't know what it was when I first saw it. Really thought dad was checking the earth's temperature to check the hot wire fence, make sure it's working. And I really hope I don't find a snake out here. This grass is really tall. So, with the butt thermometer looking in, has to go in the earth. Dad said it only has to go in a little, but our earth is kind of hard over here. There we go. So, I felt like it went in a good bit. And then you take the prongy looking in that looks like it'd be hanging on your store shelves and you put it on the fence. And sometimes you have to use your hand to cover it. Make sure I got a good hold on there. But I really don't want to judge this with my hand. Not seeing anything. Let's try moving my temperature checker. All right. All right, that's shocking at 7,000. I'm not sure if y'all can see it. But yeah, so that's what we want. I feel like I'm coming up in the jungle on a Australian safari cruise. We got the wild piggies out and about. All our big boys. My personal favorite of this group, even though I know you're not supposed to pick favorites, is Darby and he's our Texas redhead up in there. Draco's also pretty cute. But yeah, gotta admit though, I think my all time favorite boy on our property would be my Romeo who's over there but he can't have babies. You rootin' Darby? Romeo. Get him to go to retirement. Huh, cutie? Where are all the chickens at? Probably underneath that chicken coop. 
too hot out there. You see him rolling. Yeah, I'm a little disappointed in this wire wheel. The wire wheel is not the move. Well, it's a couple pieces of it already broke. Batman. Batman is hurting. Blasphemous. So Romeo's right there having him a little snack right now. Jilly's down about to move the tractor up. Now he doesn't realize he's got keys to the kingdom. The great wide world is open. But what we did is we opened this up right here. And now his his paddock is, is right up through here. It runs into the other fence over there. So he's going to have this in here for right now. I gave him some of that stuff up there to eat on and some of that back over there between uh, their old paddock and the fence. So he should have enough to keep him busy. And we also got this house moved up. The geese are moved over. And here soon Lemon is going to go into this paddock. Uh, this pen, I should say, for farrowing. Up. It's Maven. He's going to run over the water. He's going to run over the water. I was kind of hoping that she would come in there. Itchy bottom. So Romeo's in down there. We got Juliet, Maven, and Harry Styles. I didn't see if it's seven thousand. No. <laughs> Judge, with, let's see with your what tongue. happens. Seven thousand. Yeah, that's a lot of angry pixies flowing through that. All right, we're checking fences. I think anybody's going to challenge this one? It's pretty hot. Here's that little borrow I was talking about. Look at this fool. He's going to lay right in that water. Yep. It ain't for drinking. Yep, sling that all over me. I think the next big to do is getting, uh, getting lemon settled from a pig standpoint. Other than that, we're just going to be trying to keep these these pigs cool and keep them happy, which is, uh, I guess, not too difficult. Pigs are uh, pretty easy that way. But yeah, it's uh, we're hoping for rain. So if y'all getting a bunch of it, send some this way. We'd appreciate it. All right, everybody, y'all be good, and uh, we'll catch y'all here soon. doing dude too close to the women again you don't know what to do well y'all stinking it up again how about you eat some of them sumacs dang y'all stink <laughs> <laughs>